I don't understand why people leave their rubbish lying around. I just went to the beach to get some fresh air and look what I found. Let me have a look. Well, you know what? These are actually interesting pieces of glass. Interesting fact, did you know that the Portuguese voyagers used to dump their rubbish overboard in the early 1900s? Wait, Nat, so you're telling me that this is 300 years old? <laughs> well, maybe not this glass in specific, but come on, come over here. Let me show you something. Did you know that we have old bottle dumps in Namibia that date back to the early 1900s? Well, what? No, I did not. So you mean to tell me that people use the desert as a rubbish place? Well, as bad as it sounds, yes. But come, let me show you something interesting here. Do you see this purple glass here? Mm -hmm. Well, likely this was discarded in the desert, maybe 1914, 1915. This purple part here was actually exposed to the elements. So that means that the elements turned this purple. But do you see the other half up here in the photo? Mm -hmm. But why is it not purple? This thing is not purple because that part of the glass was not exposed to the elements. It was actually found 50 centimeters deep into the sand. So you see elements and chemical reactions and the exposure to heat play a vital role in making all these glass different colors. That actually sounds interesting. But Nat, what am I going to do with this rubbish? What if I told you that one man's trash could be another one's treasure? You see, that glass could easily be utilized for something else. And if it's utilized for something else, it could create jobs. And it could also mean that we could recycle it, thus helping the environment. Like what? Hmm. Oh, did you ever think of glass beads? Let me show you how it's done. Do you see the first process there? Oh, whoa. First with the broken into smaller pieces, then after tumbling, they used in a necklace. But Nads, that second process. Ah, well, that second process, you see what they do? They use the glass, they melt it, they then put it into a mold, right? And they put it into an oven. And when those beads come up and they cool down, they actually fall out of this necklace right here. Mm. But you know what? That makes me think. I wonder if there's any other glass beads out there. How about we go on a glass bead adventure? Mm -hmm.